and welcome to the busy bustling streets of Jakarta, Indonesia. Well, I have arrived in Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia. Now, it has a reputation for being a bit of a, a busy traffic clogged city, and I must admit, there's a lot of traffic. But, while I'm here, might as well have a look around and see what it has to offer. So, I've got a grab taxi, I'm gonna start at the Monas Monument in Madeka Park, and show you a few of the highlights of this beautiful, vibrant city, and busy city. It's hot. Well, I arrived at Monas for my grab taxi. I got out, a lot of police around, um, then went to the entrance, but it's Monday. Apparently a lot of things in Jakarta are closed on Monday, including the Monas, the Madeki Park and the museum. So, ha, ah, scop it. I have to go there tomorrow and show you that. As for today, I'm still carrying on my walk through the city parts through the central part, uh, heading to the mosque now and the cathedral, hoping that they're not closed on a Monday and that I'll be able to get in and show you those. Welcome to the largest mosque in Southeast Asia. Now this is the, let me get out this correctly, the Istiklal Mosque which is the Arabic word for independence. And it was built in ooh, 1978, after 17 years of construction. Now, the idea behind building it was to promote a multi-faith cultural society in independent Indonesia. And it is enormous. You can fit 200,000 people in here. 200,000 people, that is a lot of people. Now, because it was built to celebrate the independence, which was in 1945, or the proclamation of independence, should I say, the dome, which I'll show you in a second, is 45 square meters, representing 1945. There's also seven entrances into the mosque, representing the seven heavens believed of in the Muslim faith. Anyway, enough of that. Let me show you this beautiful, beautiful mosque. The mosque is beautiful. Um, you can enter, it's free to enter, but obviously you've got to be respectful. Uh, ladies cover shoulders, and everybody wear leg covering, uh, um, no short, cover your legs, and obviously take your shoes off, and there is wash places to wash your hands and feet before you come into the mosque. Now, if you're not a Muslim, you're not allowed on the bottom floor, on the big red carpet, that is for worshippers only but you are allowed to go around the outside and there is a balcony where I'm sitting at the moment overlooking the floor where you're allowed to go. You are allowed currently to take photographs and pictures, but obviously be respectful and don't disturb anybody who is worshiping here. Now, as you exit the Istiklal Mosque, right opposite on the other side of the road 
is Jakarta's neo-Gothic Roman Catholic Cathedral, the Church of Our Lady of Assumption. Now, it's no coincidence that the mosque was built opposite this church. Um, the idea of the first president of independent Indonesia was to symbolize the nation's philosophy of unity in diversity, where all religions could coexist in peace and harmony. So the current building is as it was restored in 1901. Um, the original building was actually built in 1829, but built, uh, um, fell, well, collapsed during an earthquake in 1890. So let's go and take a look around. Good evening and welcome to one of Jakarta's oldest shopping streets and now this is called Pasa Baru and it's right in the heart of Jakarta it's near some of the busiest business places you will find in the city and it is famous for its cheap clothes it uh, was nicknamed Little India because a lot of Indians came and settled here and set up textile businesses here hence the production of lots and lots of nice cheap clothing and materials so and it's not a tourist market in fact you can't see another tourist inside it's really a local where the locals go shopping so you can pick up some really good bargains here as long as you don't get run over by a bike on the way so let's go and have a look around and do some shopping If you want shopping, Jakarta has malls. If you don't want to shop on the streets, but you want a supermarket with brand names and mall food, oh, you can find it. But what you have to do is pick which floor. Of course, no day in Jakarta will be complete without mentioning street food. It doesn't matter which part of the city you are in, in the evenings it bursts into life everywhere and you'll find lots of places like this with eateries, different kinds, cooking the food fresh out. Here is the sit. Hey. <laughs> and enjoy your food. They're sort of communal mats, you just sit on a corner, eat your food, you take your shoes off before sitting on and just enjoy delicious home cooked food and a bit of friendly company even if you can't speak the same language you can sign, you can say hi you can show each other good food well they can show you the food, you can eat it and see what you think anyway 